Hello everyone. Under the ECMO troubleshooting simplified series, today we will see about decreased ECMO blood flow. It can lead to chattering of cannulas, inconsistent flow numbers on the ECMO blood flow console, decreased blood pressure, inadequate oxygenation, and hemodynamic instability. What causes this decreased ECMO blood flows? Uncontrolled bleeding, septic shock or other distributive shock state, hypovolemia, severe vasoplegia, inadequate venous return due to smaller cannula or improper positioning of the cannulas. How to prevent this? Avoid kinking or malpositioning of the cannulas. Rule out intra-abdominal compartment syndrome which may cause uh, decreased return. Check pre and post oxygenator pressure gradient and pressure should be maintained below 300 mmHg with uh, below 50 mmHg gradient between pre and post oxygenator. Evaluate possible sources of bleeding. Evaluate invasive hemodynamic monitorings like a CVP, PAP, next to venous saturation and lactate levels for signs of fluid status and Position. Ensure outflow and inflow cannulas are not too close in proximity, creating a shunt. How do we manage this issue? Optimize the fluid status with the fluid resuscitation or by ceasing the diuresis. Maintain hemoglobin of 8 mg if not bleeding or hemoglobin greater than 9 mg per DL if bleeding exists. Correct the source of bleeding if identified. We need to reduce anticoagulation or hold for a few hours if bleeding or hemoglobin decrease continues despite adequate transfusion of packed red blood cells. Change the oxygenator if large pre and post membrane pressure gradient exists. It may cause due to the clots. Reposition cannula or place second venous drainage cannula for VVA configuration to encounter the issue.